honor to be presenting uh, North Star Gold Corp at the Metals Investor Forum once again uh, in the company of such uh, amazing companies, some very good stories uh, today. Uh, launch in, before I launch into things, uh, the obligatory cautionary statement, I will be making some forward-looking statements. Um, prior to going public by way of a $3 million IPO earlier this year, North Star operated as a private company focused primarily on gold exploration in northeastern Ontario in the Appetite Greenstone Belt and more recently in the Kirkland Lake District. Our flagship project is the Miller Gold property. It's situated 18 kilometers southeast of Kirkland Lake and Kirkland Lake Gold's South Macassa mine complex operation. The company also has two other 100% owned properties. The Bryce Gold property is situated about 35 kilometers uh, southwest of Miller. The intrusive hosted VMS uh, style gold uh, property that the company's put $4 million in over the years. Uh, and our th last project is the Milestone Copper Nickel Cobalt property in the Tawagamy Lake area. Uh, Part of our going public initiative involved uh, 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 augmenting the board structure and management. And you can see that we've got a, a highly experienced and accomplished group of uh, mining and exploration and uh, cap, uh, corporate development uh, professionals, uh, both on a, on a junior and, and a global basis for major companies. On the share structure side of things, you've got 38.8 uh, million shares outstanding right now, 47.3 on a fully diluted basis. Uh, management and uh, directors and insiders account for just under half of the shares uh, in the company. Uh, we uh, have a small 6% institutional um, holding uh, and uh, our uh, cash position is uh, just under a million dollars right now. We have no debt. So since we went uh, announced and since, since we got public uh, earlier in, in January, we got a fairly uh, uh, consistent news flow. Uh, immediately after listing and uh, closing the IPO, we commenced what turned out to be a or 5,000 meter phase one diamond drill program on the Miller Gold property. Uh, this this program was uh, interrupted by COVID-19 uh, complications and concerns. Uh, we had to suspend drilling in early April and. Uh, uh, during that time, we uh, uh, prior to that, we, we closed the $1 million flow through financing and didn't really get drilling again until uh, middle of June. Uh, June 3rd, we uh, uh, reported results from the first 13 holes that we drilled. We managed to drill about 2,200 meters. And you can see we got 18 grounds per ton over uh, 3.9 meters in, in the uh, number one vein. And we made a couple new, new gold discoveries on the property. Um, commencing... Uh, Getting drilling going again in mid June. Also, uh, we commenced a uh, $350,000 geophysics integrated uh, geophysics program on the Miller property involving uh, gravity, 3D, uh, IP, and MAG. And then, as you mentioned earlier, Gwen, on September 2nd, the company announced uh, the remainder of our phase one um, drill results to date. Um, you can see that we've got uh, some high grade. Uh, 19.4 grams over 4.4 meters and some uh, within some very broad and, and uh, compelling uh, lower grade near surface uh, intervals associated with the allied cyanide. So getting to the property, uh, the Miller Gold property um, is situated, uh, it, it shares a number of very important geological characteristics uh, with, with deposits in the Kirkland Lake District. Uh, the number one being that the style of mineralization is uh, it's primarily high grade gold and tellurides um, associated in, in, in quartz veins. And uh, tellurides are, are not a common uh, component for, uh, for mineral deposits, but when it's present, it's generally uh, part of a very large uh, mineralizing system, such as the Kirkland Lake Camp. Over 25 million ounces of gold have come out of the Kirkland Camp from uh, seven, uh, uh, seven mines, so it's, it's a great, uh, great location. Um, Miller also shares uh, similar age rock types as, as a Kirkland Lake camp, albeit we have more of a volcanic component and uh, mineralization of the properties or straddle first order structures that are connected uh, to the Cadillac Larder break. And in, uh, in, North, in the Miller Gold instance, we have the Catherine Fault, which uh, uh, rips through the property and, and joins the Cadillac break. So the inference is that we've got all these similarities and similar style of mineralization that uh, 
uh, mill the Miller Gold property could be tapping the same gold source for the Kirkland Camp, uh, albeit uh, we're we're much shallower exploration so far, so so it's early days. Um, the uh, the Miller property uh, was acquired by uh, North Star in 2012 by staking. Prior to the uh, commencement of this program, we had two million dollars into it and to you know, conduct two drill programs on it. Um, the property is situated over uh, a three kilometer by two kilometer area of high in intense alteration and uh, gold mineralization associated with the emplacement of three uh, cyanide stocks and uh, and which uh, uh, and, and the Catherine fault structure, which I talked about earlier, that seems to be controlling controlling things. Um, the uh, the property is a site of the historic uh, Boston Creek mining camp. There's 11 shallow shafts on the property. Uh, where they uh, chased the uh, uh, near surface high grade gold telluride veins. Uh, the Miller Independence mine was situated in here. Uh, in early uh, 1987, a company came in and drilled uh, 27 holes and established a historic estimate of uh, 270,000 ounces of gold, 11 and a half grams per ton. Uh, two thirds of that estimate occurs on our property. We do not, North Star does not control this, this sec section of the property. So the uh, objective of phase one drilling was primarily to uh, uh, spot test this, this resource estimate in, in certain areas. Uh, with the number one vein, uh, we drilled uh, about 16 holes uh, in and around the allied cyanide and, and testing the number one vein, six holes in the allied cyanide and uh, four holes on the planet cyanide just up to the northwest, which uh, we have not received results for as of yet. The, um, the breakdown of our phase one drill program, uh, as I mentioned, 20, uh, 5,000 meters, 28 holes. Uh, we are uh, uh, fortunate to make a number of new discoveries uh, and that I'll show you uh, uh, presently. Uh, a couple of flat line veins hanging wall to the number one vein, which we collectively refer to as the Allied Gold Zone. And uh, all our geophysical results we are, are in hand now and we're currently getting them processed and. Uh, uh, inversions are being made and gold spot discoveries will be assisting us in, uh, in uh, examining our model and helping us model the deposit and uh, lay out uh, an exploration approach for uh, a phase two program which we hope to com commence uh, in October. Um, this map is, uh, illustrates where the uh, in red the, the holes that uh, have been, were drilled in, uh, in 2020 drill program. Uh, you can see I, I appreciate it's a busy map but the takeaway here is just this is the size of the uh, uh, allied cyanide as it's been uh, um, modeled. Uh, this red area here indicates the, uh, the large bulk tonnage uh, zone near surface that I'll show you a little more uh, in, in the next slide. And this, this uh, zone remains open along, along strike. Uh, this is the area of the uh, uh, um, historic estimate, the number one vein zone. This is where the number one vein outcrops on surface. And so our drill exploration today is to find this vein over 750 meters down plunge and 750 meters on strike. Uh, this slide illustrates uh, the drilling in red, uh, the 2020 results that we have so far uh, in concert with uh, previous results that uh, North Star has, received, uh, has uh, obtained by drilling. Uh, the Miller property, the Allied sign, you see hole number 49, we've got uh, uh, eight, eight grams over 15 meters, 19.4 grams over 4.4 meters and this uh, adds to a uh, broad 118, 118 meter intercept of 1.4 grams per ton. Uh, this is on the east side. Uh, interesting to note that most of these high grade numbers are within the volcanics uh, peripheral to the cyanide. Uh, on the west side of the cyanide, we have the whole 47. We've got similar, sim similar tenor and uh, some decent grades over uh, uh, additional widths, uh, other veins that I, I will show you. So this is this these the results complement what uh, North Star has received here in the past. A gram over 104 meters, uh, 40.5 grams over a meter in the allied cyanide. Uh, footwall to this, we discovered uh, what we think is uh, one of the feeders to vertical feeders to the uh, to the uh, Miller to the allied cyanide, and uh, I'll show more about that in a bit. Uh, planet cyanide again, uh, 147 meters, 0.6 grams. Historically, that we drilled, uh, we're waiting on results for that. And the number one vein, well, you can see we, we've uh, managed to replicate some of the higher grade results uh, previously obtained. So the easiest way to, best way to visualize this uh, is with this 3D model and, and it illustrates the, 
the number one vein zone, uh, which remains open along the depth. You can see our results, uh, shallower drilling to the, uh, on, on to the west. And uh, the historic estimate, uh, this, this includes the historic estimate and that carries on down to about here over about a 30 meter wide uh, swath. Uh, the hole 47, the intercept that I talked about is here on the west side and hole 49 uh, on this side. And uh, you can see that uh, we've got three new vein discoveries here, and then collectively we refer to this as the Allied Cyanide Gold Zone. So it, it remains open along strike, and uh, we're not sure what's going on at depth just yet. And the Allied, the vertical Allied uh, Zone, which underplates everything, uh, we got uh, 14 grams over three meters uh, from our earlier phase one drilling. Uh, quickly, the uh, uh, the planet Cyanide is uh, situated about a kilometer northwest of Alvalade. I dimension. we put four holes into here. We're still waiting on the results, but you can see it's a similar story. Uh, we've got some narrow, higher, higher grade uh, intercepts, but we also have, uh, when you look at it along the edge of the periphery of it, 147 meters of 0.6 grams. So, and it's as much closer proximity to the, uh, to the Catherine Fault. So uh, I'm looking forward to the results for that. This is just a uh, IP chargeability, uh, 150 meters deep. Uh, of the uh, of the Miller, and it's, you can see that the Catherine Fault clearly uh, marks the the boundary, the eastern boundary of, of this large chargeability system, 600 meters by 1.6 kilometers, uh, centered over uh, the planet and then allied cyanides. So, in summary, um, North Star has got uh, the, uh, the Miller Gold property is has got some very compelling uh, similarities and characteristics of uh, Kirkland Lake uh, mines and, and deposits. And uh, we think we've got excellent uh, uh, potential to uh, to rep for in terms of size and tenor for some of those deposits. Uh, we definitely have a intrusive component that uh, we're still getting our minds around, and that's uh, quite in, uh, similar to the signal of MAC mines. Um, our phase one drill program was highly successful, uh, resulted in four new high grade gold structures uh, discovering uh, discovered. Uh, we've got a very tight share structure, accomplished board. And management and uh, there's more to come. We're uh, currently positioning to uh, uh, undertake a 4,000 meter uh, phase two probe program this fall. Uh, thank you so much.